once, went out, got in a fight, and got my ass kicked. Right? And yet, they're going, yeah, we can teach you how to fight. No, I got stable data. This doesn't work. <laughs> but the thing was, I kept on coming back to the martial arts, and I, be, I got into Chinese styles. So the thing that I would do is that I would, you know, this was before the, you know, Billy Bob's ta Taekwondo and uh, Kung Fu and Karate Studio, and we teach Tai Chi too. Um, where what I would do is that I would go to schools to learn from people who only taught one style. For example, my Wing Chun instructor, Hawkins Chung, I learned, uh, I heard about Wing Chun that was very good for fighting in close after I tried to throw a rear-legged roundhouse in between two pool tables. Bad move. Is this not working anymore? Oh, well. Well. But, well. Well, hold on. We're, we're suffering technical diff. Right. All right, technical. But the issue... Is anything blowing up there? We're having technical issues here. Well, okay, there you go. So get it up closer, up my nose, etc. Yeah. Um, but the issue really was, it was the discipline of the martial arts that really helped me. And yet, I would go in for the fighting application. And for the longest time, because I was constantly involved in violence, you know, people say, oh, yeah, this is great for uh, self-defense. It's like, well, no, actually, it kind of sucks with what you're teaching. And yet, when I was finding the older teachers, the teachers who were, you know, I mean, some of the training places I was in, go, oh, whoa, <laughs> you know, hole-in-the-wall places, um, it was fighting. It was the application and, you know, again, so that's my bias. That is my different understanding and my background of this, but now coming into what I've seen is the martial arts turned into a business where it's not only a business but it's a one-stop shopping hey you can come and uh, learn at this you know Baba Louie's uh, you know martial arts emporium you can learn 12 different styles self-defense you know, self-discipline and all these wonderful things and a lot of that is what they're actually teaching is a particular form of martial arts and the thing that I found with the martial arts is they don't give you anything they will help you develop these attributes and one of the biggest attributes they will help you develop is discipline and it is become much much more lax in what I see in the marketing which is every three months you're gonna test you I mean I live a mile away from a place that will guarantee you a black belt in one year for two thousand dollars plus additional a thousand dollars for testing fees and then there's all the other seminars etc cetera, etc cetera. but again you know these um, these people honestly believe that they're learning self-defense because that's the big market appeal and when Rory and I are working on the you know the issues of conflict and how violence occurs a lot of the stuff that I see being sold as self-defense martial arts you know the spiritual awareness the comp you know all the thing one-stop shopping um and what i find really lacking in a lot of what these people are teaching is any validity in that subject right they they're using it as marketing but again the discipline the the dedication the practice those things which will help you develop these aspects um I'm often finding are being lost because, hey, you know, you test every three months. And, I mean, I know the school that I just referred to, you learn a technique, they give you a new belt. I, it's that bad. And uh, there's no understanding of the application and there's no repet repetition and learning it. So, again, you know, I'm not really a, a good guy for that kind of question because, Again, I went into the hole-in-the-wall dojos where I was the only white face. And, you know, I was, okay, can you fight? Well, yes, you can. You can stay. Um, so my training was really different, but to ask how it has changed, and I think one of the things that has happened, and going back to what Ian said, is there's so much information, and there's so many people claim, claiming, oh, yeah, we teach that too. 
that it's really hard for people to understand whether or not, you know, no, this is this is self-defense. This deals with this, 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 and this. This is martial arts, which has a totally different value. And you can get so many great things from the study and the understanding of it. Um, but what I see the biggest difference is the smearing, the intentional blurring of definitions, where somebody's going to claim that he'll sell you something or he'll teach you something just to get your money. So that's pretty much what my thought is. But And just as I finish up, Chris gets otherwise occupied. You know, is it back to you, Chris? Um, you know, what it, one of the things that uh, that happens with, with martial artists is, is that over a course of time, um, you know, the um, your, your training morphs. It, it takes on, uh, you know, different aspects, and there's different emphasis and things like that. And so the question is, is really... Um, you know what are you what are you working on right now? Uh, you know in your personal training when uh, you know when you're down in your basement or out in your backyard or wherever it is you choose to do it. You know what's what's the little thing you're spending your time on? And I'll tell you what mine is is that I am just I'm all about stances right now. I'm just absolutely on this this stance jag, and um, one of the things that I have uh, decided to do is is uh, well. One of, one of um, this uh, teacher that I used to be in his organization with, John Roseberry, somebody was saying, "Hey, Xian, can, can where do, where should I learn Tai Chi?" And he goes, "You already know it." And he says, just do, "Just do your kata really slow. Control control your balance. Control your weight." And it was like, "No, you know, I that's that's bull. I want the real, you know." What I mean? But um, I went out and got myself a weight vest. And I've started, I just take the first kata and I start working it up through, you know, and, and we've only got 12 in the system. And so I work it up through and, um, man, talk about uh, a change in, uh, you know, how I'm making my body shift and, uh, you know, the, uh, the, the entire, um, just, you know, that's where I'm spending my time right now. And the deeper I'm going into that, the more exploration uh, is, is coming out of it and, and the better my technique is becoming when I clash with an opponent, um, which brings me to another subject, but I'll, I'll say that for later. Yeah, yeah. What you're talking about, stance and integri the structural integrity, um, you're doing weight vest now. Try this. Go neck deep into a pool and do your cot. And also do them on ice. Um, two, two things to that. Um, I did. I, I have done the pool thing in the past, and um, it didn't get the chicks like I thought it would, because um, it was a it was a community pool. It wasn't working out. And, and as for the ice thing, yeah, I've done that too, um, because where I grew up, we uh, you know we had a lot of you know guys were playing pond hockey and things like that, and so you get out there and do that. Um, um, going out on the ferries out here in Puget Sound and getting out on the bow or the stern, getting as far as you can, you know, and, and riding it out there. I mean, I've actually gotten on the ferry and paid money so that I can go stand on the bow of the ship, of a ferry, you know. To, I mean, it's like, what are you doing? Are you going to Bremerton? No. You know, what are you doing? You don't want to know because you're going because I'm going to get arrested and questioned and I don't, I don't want to tell you. Um, but, you know, I... I but but I can tell you, uh, you know, several years ago it was all about the Makawara, you know, for me. And then I went through, a, you know, a heavy bag phase. And then I went through, you know, just um, I remember one time I set out on a year. It was like I am going to have the best stance that there is in this organization. And for that next year, that's what I did. I worked on just, I mean, in the mirror muscle body memory all those kinds of things so anyway I mean this is this these are the way that I approach things and I'm assuming that it's not too far afield from the way that you guys do it too so you know the question is 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 uh, what are you working on now or what have you worked on in the past that's been really good and beneficial and so Al <laughs> you're in proximity so here you go yeah, well, um, I, as I said, I started out in, in karate, so, and I, I still kind of consider myself a karate man. We were talking about it earlier today. I haven't, haven't really done my karate gi for a long, long time, apart from the old photo shoot, um, where I pretend I still do karate. Uh, and uh, and uh, I realized that someone's shortened my belt over the last few years, because there's a lot, 
don't I don't know who's I don't know who's been at it, but someone's been at it and must have washed it a bit too hard or something.